So I decided since I'm not going to get my muffler done today, thought I'd do another video. Considering doing the five things I hate about my Dodge Charger. Feels like something that could be spoken on. And the craziest thing is this isn't, this isn't really easy to say. And now I understand where everyone's coming from when they say, oh, this is a, it's kind of like a, a difficult video to make. And I get it because, you know, when you buy these cars, you're, you, you're not really going to hate them. You're not really going to find anything you actually hate. So to say, can't hate that. That's one thing I can admit. I cannot hate that. I do enjoy that sound. But so yeah, no, that's what I'm going to do. I'll do the five things I hate about my Dodge Charger. So you know, without further ado, I'll get started starting with number five the fifth thing well the, i guess number five the one thing i hate about this car about my dash charging is i wish it was louder i really do i think watching youtube as time went on i thought rts were just a little louder like this one's good i, I really do love it like the sound is cool, but I, I wish it was louder. Now I know if I really wanted to make it louder, you know, I could always just do an exhaust swap. But just from, you know, just from stock, like it's not horrible, but a part of me feels like Dodge could have done a little better. Which I, but it's, I'm not really bothered by it. Like I was discussing, I'm more than likely going to do a mid muffler delete. See how that goes, and if that doesn't actually, uh, that doesn't really satisfy me, I'll probably look into getting a full exhaust system. But yeah, that's number five, the sound of exhaust. So on to number four. And the thing I'm going to be listing, don't take it as in like, okay, let me look into this. This the things he's naming, they, they affect all chargers. I'm mostly just speaking on my charger. Like the one I own right now, that I'm just speaking on this one, that I'm not a big fan of. I regret not getting a sunroof. I really do. Like, I'm not bothered by it, but you know, sometimes I just want to have the windows down. But you know, when you're driving, when you're driving, you know, fast in these cars, and, you know, you're going to Mexico, having fun, having your windows down ain't really the best thing to do. It's kind of, it's loud. I'm not going to say it's kind of loud. It's loud to be hearing the wind whooshing by your windows down. So at least with a sunroof, I could have some air flowing through here without turning on the AC. Which, you know, turning on the AC isn't really that big of a hamper. You know, it's, it's an RT. It's not like I'm driving, you know, like a Demon or something or Hellcat. You know, it's a simple RT. I can drive around with the AC on. You know, but sometimes it's just like having the, you know, nice actual airflow coming through is you know just a nice thing to have so that's why i wish i had had gotten a sunroof i did kind of rush to get this car i guess because I, I was so excited to finally get my my first mopar to finally join the mopar family that would you know when i got approved to be able to get this car it was like oh this is great you know what let me see what i can get can i get an rt oh i can get an rt get an rt which one am i going to get Oh, found one. Got it. We out. Me and my boy Josh drove all the way out to damn near Brooklyn to look at a charger that wasn't even on the qualifying list. That's what pissed me off. But all right, but all right. Anyhow, I'm kind of getting off topic. That's a whole other story for another video. I'll, I'll I'll talk about my first day getting this car in another video. So yeah, that's that's number four. So on to number three. Number three that I'm not really a big fan of is the acceleration. Now don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It'll pick up, it can pick up when it likes, but just from the get go, it's, you feel like when you step on it, you feel it, it kind of lags. Like it, it, 
it hesitates before it picks up and you know peels off. And you know people people talk about like getting a pedal commander and whatnot. That that can fix it. Well, that'll change it. And they say it makes it like a basically a whole new car at that point. Which to me that sounds like something I might look into. Something I might try and invest in. See what it does. But yeah, so that's pretty much. Like I have no issue with the car. I do love the acceleration it has. I just wish it was more like instant. Um, so yeah, that's that's number three. It's not really much to go into detail about that. It's pretty simple. It, it has a simple fix. I might really do the pedal commander just to see what happens. So yeah, but that's number three. So on to number two. Number two thing that I don't like, uh, I guess, I don't really say hate it, because I can't really be bad about it, because, you know, it wasn't really an option in a sense, is the lack of the SRT pages. That line lock option, I am so pissed I don't have that. Like, I would really have loved to have that, just do cool burnouts and everything, but not having it kind of sucks. My bad, I'm kind of distracted. This, this, this charger behind me, on the, on the right side of me, he has a, he has he has his bananas on, but he only has one, so it looks kind of weird. And I'm, I'm, it's bugging me. I'm just like, dude, why didn't you just take off the other one? Like, you, do you not know that you're missing one, or do you just I, is that your style, or are you just gonna drive around with one, one little banana on? Like, dude, just just pop the other one off at this point. But <laughs> I'll get distracted. That was, <laughs> it's just really bugging me. I I don't know. I've never really been a big fan of having that. You know, the, the little shipping, the little shipping things on it. It's kind of weird. I guess dope because you know it pops out a little bit. I know some people color it. Me, I was never a big fan of it. Mine, mine didn't come with it because my car was pretty used, so I never got the option to have that on there. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you're gonna go in that lane. I was gonna switch over for you, but all right, go ahead, Mister E350. Get up out of here. Roll on. So yeah, that was uh. So yeah, that, that that's number that's number two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was number two. Number two is the SRT pages. Like I really, I I really didn't. I really wanted those. I'm gonna say didn't want those. I wanted those. Just no BS. I actually wanted that. I still need to learn how to do launch control. That's my that's my Achilles here right now. I don't know how that works. I'm gonna sit there and probably take some time and watch it watch someone's video on how they do it and that's what I'll end up learning. I could practice it today. I might actually try that. Maybe I'll throw that at the end of the video. I'll see. This video is kind of, I don't want this video to be too long. I don't want you to lose any sort of interest. But yeah, I, I might I might actually consider putting in a, uh, a clip of me trying to do a line lock. But I just, cons I just thought about where I'm going. Don't know if I want to practice doing burnouts in this area because I definitely have been pulled over out here a couple of times. And I really, really don't want to chance that again. So yeah, but anyway, on to number one. Now, number one, this is pretty much everyone can agree on this. These dang tires, bruh. I don't know why. Dodge put 245s on these things. Now don't get me wrong, you put 245s on, I think the, they pretty much put them on the V6, the RTs, and I believe they put them on the Skepix. Lord knows why they did that. Because even on the RTs, I break out of these things. Easily just instantly start burning up. And I'm like, okay, cool, lost traction super quick so I can't imagine how it's got to feel for someone on a scat pack to you know just instantly break traction but yeah so those those 245 tires those things need to be I'm, I'm hoping when Dodge Dodge does a, a new release of you know the new generation of Chargers and Challengers they get out of that that small 245 tire range 
that tire range is that's rough. That's just it's impossible. I won't say it's impossible. You're just not really going to get to enjoy a good mm, a good team up with them. They suck when it comes to grip severely. And when it comes to it, I even if they I feel like if they just put 265 all around, it it would probably help. I feel like it would help. Maybe not tremendously, but it would it would be better than a 245. The 245 is just they're really not cutting it. Like severely, they're just not doing it. And I, I need Dodge to get that through their head to realize that bro, we gotta stop putting 245 on these on these strong tire on these strong vehicles that we're releasing. It just isn't doing it. I know we're releasing stronger vehicles such as the Hellcat, you know, Demon and everything. But to put these 245s on the, putting them on the RT is already cutting it. When you put them on the scat pack, that was just that was, that was just disrespectful. You're gonna give them 500 horsepower and make them try to put that to the ground with 245s? I don't see how that's gonna work. Literally, everyone I asked about owning a scat pack who had 245 tires said they they wanted to, they had to change them instantly. And anybody who hasn't changed them is constantly talking about, oh man, I need to change them. So I feel like that that's immediate. That really needs to be done. So when you first, if you're looking into buying a charger, even challenges, that that should definitely be one of the first things you do. Look into getting bigger tires for sure. That's the best thing. I say go 275. That's what I'm looking into. I'm gonna try and put 275s on there because, like I said, these 245s just aren't cutting it. So at that point, I'm going to look into trying to get 245, get these 245s off. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, those are the five things that I'm, I won't, it's hard to say I hate because I, I don't really hate it. It's just like decisions I made that affected me and how I felt about everything. Oh, oh that's a nice little BMW. But yeah, just from my opinion, when it comes to my charger, by the way, this shadow. Love this, love this car. I'm so happy to finally be a part of my car family. It's just where I've always wanted to be. One of the challenger, but you know, uh, no, 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 no. That's a story. That's another story for another video. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a roll. I'm out here, just taking a drive while I'm filming this video. So. Yeah, I'm gonna get at you guys. Appreciate you for tuning into this video. Hope you like, comment, subscribe, and share it. I greatly, I greatly appreciate it. I'm really trying to, you know, get into the habit of doing this YouTube thing. But how, how it plays out, whether you know if it, it blows up, if it doesn't, cool. If it do, great. Either way, I'm just doing it for fun. Finally got myself into a, a Dodge vehicle, so this is just the way I'm enjoying it. So yeah, as time goes on, I'm hoping I get. You know better and better with making these videos which is the plan oh, that was a yucky road kill right there but all right i'm gonna get at y'all chris prime is out oh another thing i'm getting back to the full reviews i'm really really just trying to be patient because you know this quarantine thing it's a pain so i'll get back to it eventually right now i'm just gonna enjoy doing the car scene for a while for a little bit, at least till you know everything straightens back out. Other than that, I'll get at you guys. Have a good day. Stay safe. Wear your mask. I know I ain't got mine on, but I'm in the car, and I'm not really planning to go anywhere. And if I do, you know I got mask here. Got two down here. You know, like you just say, mask on. But you know, my mask off. So anywho, but I'm out. I get at you.
heading back home. Let's roll. Took a long drive. Got myself some gas. Bro, this car drank gas. Like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. But man, this car drank up some gas. But yeah, anywho.